today is the 26th anniversary of the Million Man March. Hmm. A lot of folks are acting strange. And I'm thinking is more because of a lack of understanding in regards to it. Young people said, oh, it was a lie that never happened. I'm like, what? One of my coworkers said that to me once and I heard it again. But, um, do y'all remember what was going on before the Million Man March? Minister Farrakhan had did a tour, a world tour, stop the killing. Then it was the Million Man March. What happened? The killing stopped. Everybody was getting along. People became educated, bought property, adopted children. And then everything got quiet. What was the message of the Million Man March? I had put this out on my Facebook page and actually ended up texting everyone in my phone. So I'm going to share with my Facebook family. Not Facebook, YouTube family. Uh, the biggest message, if you want to re read along, the biggest message during the October 16th, 1995 Million Man March in its theme of atonement, its themes of atonement, reconciliation, and responsibility was and is still not just today but every day the eight steps of atonement the process was present to promote peace and settle differences number one you point the wrong out to the person who did the wrong number two the person who did the wrong must acknowledge the wrong that he or she did. Number three, the person who did the wrong must confess their fault first to God, then to those who they offended. Then there's the process of repentance where the offender must go through their, their own feeling of remorse. Contrition, 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 or shame for his or her past conduct, which was wrong and sinful. The fifth step is atonement. This is where amends and reparations for the wrong is made. The offended, or I should say offender, the offender makes up for what he or she did. The sixth is forgiveness. The person offended must cease to feel offense and resentment against the person for the harm he or she did to them. The seventh step is reconciliation and restoration. This is where all involved become friendly and peaceful again. And then the eighth step. This is the perfect union with the law God and with each other. Have a happy, holy, every day of atonement. It shouldn't just be fixed on this day. And then, uh oh, it's not up here. Facebook just puts on what they want. Oh, here we go. So here, 
you have to remember the pledge. What was the pledge that the brothers made there? I know, was it really a million? It was less than a million. No, it was close to two million. What's the count about? We know how many people were there. What was the purpose? What was the purpose? What was the message? The pledge. I, state your name, pledge that from this day forward, I will strive to love my brother as I love myself. And sisters, we can say the pledge too. Just like you put your name in after I, just identify yourself as sister. Okay? I, Homestead Hood, <laughs> from this day forward will strive to improve myself spiritually, morally, mentally, socially, politically, and economically for the benefit of myself, my family, and my people. I, Homestead Hood, pledge that I will strive to build businesses, build houses, build hospitals, build factories, and enter into international trade for the good of myself, my family, and my people. I, Homestead Hood, pledge from this day forward, I will never raise my hand with a knife or a gun to beat, cut, or shoot any member of my family or any human being except in self-defense. I, Homestead Hood, pledge from this day forward, I will never abuse my, well, I'm not married. I'm not married to a woman. Yeah, future husband. We'll say it like that. By striking him, disrespecting him, for he is the father of somebody's children. <laughs> of my children. Yeah, okay, there we go. And produce producer of my future all children are the producers of our future I homestead hood pledge that from this day forward I will never engage in abuse of children little boys or little girls for sexual gratification but I will let them grow in peace and be strong men and women for future for the future of our people I, Homestead Hood, will never again use the B word to describe any female, but particularly my own black sister. I, pledge from this day forward that I will not poison my body with drugs or that which is destructive to my health and my well-being. I, Homestead Hood, pledge from this day forward, I will support black newspapers, black radio, black television. I will support black artists who clean up their acts and show respect for themselves and respect for their people and respect for the ears of the human family. I, Homestead Hood, will do all of this so help me God so what is the commotion about right afterwards killing stop we were prosperous we was helping one another did we forget the message did we not share the message I think that's what it was. It went to, I did this instead of, we did this. And you hid how you got what you got. The hiding of the truth is a very serious thing. Anyway, everyone. Oh. 
there's been a lot of um a lot of different type of workshops done today locally and virtually I saw a couple of churches were doing boys to men workshops and um, things that were going on awry in communities people were addressing them so also tonight there is a it's spinning it's spinning all right there you go let's see there is a a panel discussion with some of the members of the nation of islam tonight at 7 p.m. Central but you have to register for it you don't have to pay for it you have to register for it you know when it gets a certain number sites crash and things slow down and yada 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 <laughs> where that word come from so that's tonight and then tomorrow For, uh, isn't that a beautiful picture of the minister? This is a picture of him from when he addressed the world in the lecture entitled The Criterion. Y'all need, everybody needs to view it and view it again. There are so many things he said for us and our well-being in there. So, on tomorrow, what time? Oh, so, depends on where you are. Uh, the time it'll be aired. Okay, and that's tomorrow, Sunday the 16th, and the address will be given by student minister Ishmael Muhammad. Okay, so, in all thy getting, get understanding, so we can all get along, because we're all going to get hit with something where we are really going to need each other. Everybody's coming back home. If they haven't gone home already, many of us got rid of Big Mama by putting her in the nursing home. So there's no more Big Mama house to go to. That's something else for another time. But everyone, be well and be safe. Happy, holy, everyday of atonement. Peace.